Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah, you guys are doing well and in the best of health and the highest level of iman. Um, I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, she's back. <laughs> I am. Um, you know, when I was muted, I wasn't muted, but when I um, took a step back, I started to delve into social media myself as someone who watches, as someone who's just like swiping and clicking and and all that. And I was like, I know this sounds weird, but I'm like, these people need me. This society needs me. Like I, I need to remind people of basic things because we are in such a strange time where priorities are like misaligned completely where the dunya is just like so like there where everything is just so fake so fake and so, like, when with fakeness comes hollowness, hollowness, and then people want to aspire to compete with hollowness, so they dig themselves deeper and deeper. And I honestly felt like I need to go back. I need because you guys need me. I know that sounds like conceited or weird, but it was just a feeling that I would constantly get. Like, this is not the only thing that should be out there. People need to like reel those folks in and be like, okay, I know you're about to swipe up. You're about to swipe. You're gonna try to buy something. That's fine. You're, you're gonna look at another cooking tutorial. That's okay, we all do it. But we also spend hours doing it. We give up so much of our time doing it. And we have been slaves, slaves to our phones. Um, we, me, and you guys, all of us. And um, I don't think there's anything that's there's a lot of things that's that's wonderful but not enough not enough there's not enough food for the soul the soul needs to be nourished it really needs to be taken care of and sometimes like i feel like i'm dead i feel like i'm in a rut i feel like i just that's how i feel and then what do i do to go to the masjid even if I'm not going to pray I just need to go to the masjid I just need to sit inside of a mosque and serenity follows always that's what we need we need something to just like stop us and bring us back and that was the only reason why I, I got on my very first video and this is kind of in a way my very first video all over again and I can't always promise you a spiritual side of me but I'm going to tell you that the more I work on myself the better I can serve you guys and that's going to be my constant rejuvenated intention every single day I, you know one of the reasons why I stopped was several reasons I got a lot of comments one you're not a sheikha so like like I don't mean to be rude but like you need more facts and I tried to like write it down I tried to script it I just don't know how to do stuff like that another thing was like you need to have a nicer background you need to have a nicer whatever and then there were the analytics and then it was just the editing um, but I think the 
the straw on the camel's back um, was getting messages from men. I think that was, for me, that was like, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? Not because I'm married. Not because I'm married. Because I'm your Muslim sister in Islam. And that's not how you treat me. And not Hassan. I am not talking about Hassan Sayyid. Hassan Sayyid is one of the, the most genuine people. And um, so not Hassan. I am I'm clarifying that because there were a lot of just weirdos. And um, I, d I don't appreciate it at all. I don't think it's flattering. I don't think it's nice. I think it's disrespectful and gross. And, you know, I, I do understand that some people really are looking. Um, and I know how hard it must be, but, like, you know someone's intentions are just yucky. I'm giving whatever. Anyway, so those are my reasons. But I don't think any of that matters in comparison to how much I know that you guys need me. That sounds crazy and I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to tame myself. I'm not. And the thing is, I don't believe in coincidences at all. I don't believe they exist. I know they're, they're garbage. There is no such thing. Every single tiny thing is a breadcrumb from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been dropping them, dropping them, dropping them, dropping them, dropping them. And um, um, I'm finally vacuuming the floor. Speaking of vacuums, you guys, uh, I hate vacuums. I have the worst luck in them. Every single time I get a vacuum, it breaks. And then I, 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 I get the good one and it breaks. And I'm like, okay, well, now what? I'm not going to spend more money on another vacuum. And then I tried to buy another part. They don't have any more pipe parts. I called Dyson. I stayed on the phone for 45 minutes. They don't have the part. And then I tried ordering it a part online. It came the wrong size. I ordered twice, three times, and now I have to return parts for a stupid vacuum. My brother gave me a vacuum, and at the time, I had a, a brand new rug, so it was still, like, very shaggy. Every time, it would get stuck, and then I got so sick of it, and then eventually, it kept getting stuck on me, and then eventually, the vacuum stopped working. I took it back. I exchanged it for another Roomba. Same thing. I bought one of those vacuums, the the ones that like you mop the floor and they, you know, simultaneously the fancy stuff, it would not spray. I called Amazon. I told them my, my vacuum is not working. Uh, what are we going to do about it? What do they do? They wouldn't even return it. They wouldn't let me return it. And I was like, are you kidding me? So now I have a vacuum that doesn't work. So what am I going to do with it? I don't know how to fix it. And now just the vacuum part of it works, so I gave it to someone. But alhamdulillah, Allah gave me, a, he set a new vacuum for me, for my sister-in-law, so it was a present, which was great because I'm sick of buying vacuums. And then my other vacuum is very expensive and it's still just sitting there without a part. So I hate vacuums. So much. Oh, and then I bought this manual thingy that's supposed to like pick up crumbs it doesn't even work and I'm just like just quit my balls please you guys it's 5am I'm talking about vacuums so this is my first video I'm gonna record another one I'll see you soon assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Please keep me in the pit of your prayers as you are all constantly in the pit.